So I have a Disney pin haul video to share today, but I haven't done a pin haul video like this before because with one exception, everything is from Disney small shops. And with no exceptions, so that means everything that I got here was either part of Black Friday sales or kind of extended continued holiday sales. That's great for me because I'm always on a pin budget and I'm looking for the best deals that I can get. And I found some really great deals and I'm really happy with all these pins that I purchased. I do just have to say, Sarah, if you happen to be watching this, you're not allowed to watch any further because there may be a few things that could be part of your Christmas present in here. Sarah is my best friend from college. She is also a huge Disney fanatic like myself. We're planning a trip to Disneyland this coming summer together and just recently she's gotten into pin trading and pin collecting. So she has definitely very much also fallen down the rabbit hole of pins. And so some of these items are gonna be part of her Christmas present. So I'm gonna start off with some pins that I got from Enchanted Thoughts Club. I've talked about Enchanted Thoughts Club a few times before on my channel. I really like the Disney inspired pins that I make and as part of their Black Friday sales, they were offering big discounts on their B grade pins. So B grade pins are usually either called flawed pins or seconds. They're pins that have small errors and so people really don't want to sell them at full price. So I was able to pick up some pins that all relate to what's in the background behind me. And it worked out well because I had placed another pin pre-order of theirs quite a number of weeks ago and it shipped with all the B grade pins. So the first B grade I got is a little bubble gum. The second I got is a little toothpaste. And then the third is a little galactic purple. So Enchanted Thoughts Club has done a whole series of Disney walls and because I have some DIY Disney walls wall art that I made. I thought it'd be nice to get some of these to match with the wall art that I've made. So the bubblegum wall pin is definitely really nice and classic. The bubblegum wall definitely seems to be the most famous or kind of iconic of all of the Disney walls. And this pin, like just about all the B grades that I got, you really can't tell the flaws or the flaws are not that noticeable. So if you're looking to get fantasy pins or just kind of, you know, the general Disney inspired pins and you're on a budget, look for when people are selling B grade pins because usually there are always B grade pins because a factory can't make all totally unflawed pins unless it's a really, really good factory. And then those B grades will be sold typically at a lower price. I'm also not too bothered by B grades because so much of Disney's own quality right now, so many of the pins from the parks would be considered B grade pins or should be considered flawed and kind of pulled based on quality control, but Disney still sells them full price anyways. So if you can get B grades on discount, that's even better. So then that next B grade that I got was a toothpaste wall pin. That wall is also an Epcot and it seems to be a B grade just because there is a teeny, teeny, tiny, just little dot mark of other enamel color there, but otherwise still looks really nice and good. But I can tell that this pin and the bubblegum wall pin were definitely among the earliest ones that they made because I can tell that they were made at a different factory than what they use now. The backs are different, the thickness is a little different, but these are both still really great. And then I know all the current pins that they get, I really like the quality of whatever factory they're using. And then the last one that I got was this galactic purple wall pin. It really is a pretty good match for my wall art in the background. And then like this one again, I would barely even know that this is a second or B grade pin, but that's not to say that all B grades will look that good. I might've just gotten lucky with these might've been kind of among the best B grade quality pins they had. And then this pin was not part of my Black Friday order. It was a pre-order that I had purchased in advance and it happened to be ready with all those. And that was the It's a Small World wall pin. So I really like this pin. It's really nice and glittery. The design is simple, but I love the small world colors. I just think that these are really pretty, kind of nice, simple Disney inspired pins to collect. This is a closer look at all of the Enchanted Thoughts Club pins that I got. What I do notice is that the toothpaste and the bubblegum wall pins are a little bit smaller than these other two, but that doesn't bother me too much. I think these will all look really nice together. The next two purchases that I made came all of the way from the UK. 
These pins I got here are from Grape Soda Club, and I just kind of recently started purchasing pins from Grape Soda Club, and I am so beyond in love. If you haven't checked out the Grape Soda Club pins yet, I would definitely recommend checking them out. The designs are absolutely stunning, and they have a lot of really awesome, unique elements which you'll be able to see on these pins. So the first cool thing that they had with their Black Friday sale is they sent little scratch off tickets where almost kind of like a lottery ticket, you can scratch it off and win something. So with mine, I got free shipping on my next purchase. So that's awesome and I'll definitely be using this sometime. And they had pins at such good sale deals, I couldn't believe it. So I got three pins total, Two of them are for myself, and then one is gonna be included with some of my friend Sarah's Christmas stuff. So one of the things that I think Grape Soda Club is most known for are these really awesome Polaroid Castle camera pins. This one I got here is in a pretty light purple, and I have to take it out of the plastic to actually show the really awesome elements to it. So it's like a Polaroid camera, but when you flip it, it actually pops up with like a movable little castle image. So that can just slide back down to the pin. I do have another one of these pins in a similar style. They released a limited edition one that was themed to Coco, but I thought I could kind of put these with some of like the Disney walls pins and other just kind of lightly themed, pastel-y cute Disney pins. And then I got two of these awesome Once Upon a Time pins. They come with these little mini whiteboard markers because they're like little mini whiteboards on the inside. You can write on them. So it's this super pretty Once Upon a Time book that opens up, if I can get it, to the inside. And then on the inside, you can actually write a message. So it's like a little whiteboard. I, isn't that just awesome? I think that is so cool. It's awesome to have an interactive pin like that and then it can just erase super easily, just like it is writing on a whiteboard. Grape Soda Club is definitely among my new top favorites for Disney-inspired pins. These here were my Grape Soda Club pins. I love the movable elements where you have that castle slider on the Polaroids, and then it is so cool how you can actually write on these pins. It's very fun to put little messages inside. The other purchase I made that also came from the UK is for my Emperor's New Groove pin collection. So I like to spend time just kind of like scrolling on the Instagram Explore page. That's a really good way to find other pins or ears or Disney things. And so this pin on this Etsy shop popped up and I knew it would be perfect and it was on sale for Black Friday. So this pin comes from the D-Bits shop and it's a little baby Cusco. I thought this was so super cute. I've really been enjoying Emperor's New Groove fantasy pins lately because Disney doesn't, you know, too frequently release a whole bunch of new Emperor's New Groove pins. And I love how unique all the designs of the, both the fantasy and authentic Emperor's New Groove pins are. So this pin was really nice quality and also super cute. This is my very cute baby Cusco from D-Bits Co. He's hugging on real tight to his cute toy. So the next item that I got is not a pin, but it is a pin storing product, and that is a Pinfolio Show from GoPin Pro. Let me take this out of the plastic so that it's not just all glare in the camera. So I've done a video before where I've shown and talked about the Pinfolios, and really they are the absolute best way to store your Disney pins. They're perfect for even just like collections at home or if you're going to take them into the parks. So I got this for my friend Sarah, because like I said, she's just now really gotten into pin trading and collecting. And they had some amazing Black Friday deals on the Pinfolio shows. So the Pinfolio shows are really cool because like the name suggests, you can show off your pins in the front. So there is the front zip and you can put pins to show off and display in there. And then on the inside, it opens up and you have the kind of classic two-page pinfolio display sheets. And this material really is the best for having pins stick in there securely, but it's not too hard where it would damage the pins. Pinfolios are super awesome. So I definitely think that Sarah will really enjoy this for her pins. So the next small shop purchase that I made, it wasn't just directly a Black Friday sale, but it was part of just extended 
December holiday sales, pretty similar to good Black Friday deals, and I also did get some more B-grade pins. So I purchased from Castle Babe Co., and it was the first time that I purchased from them, but I do remember seeing their pins pop up on Instagram before, and I got a total of four pins, three of which were B-grades, but all of which were on sale. The first pin I got was an unflawed Happy Holidays pin. I absolutely loved the design and colors of this pin. So it shows Sleeping Beauty's castle and then it's Minnie and Mickey from the background. Everything's very nice and holiday-y. So I thought that this would look really nice with all of my Christmas and holiday pins. And then the next three pins I got were B grades. So this pin shows a silhouette with mouse ears in front of Sleeping Beauty's castle. There's also a whole bunch of Mickey balloons. And again, with this one, I'd hardly know that it's B grade quality. And then I got two ice cream Disney inspired pins to go with my sweets and snacks collection. So I got one that's Minnie Mouse inspired and one that is Mickey inspired. So I have the Steamboat Willie Mickey one. They did also have a Sorcerer Mickey ice cream pin, but they were sold out of the B grades for that already. So I thought it would work well enough to have a Steamboat Willie because I gotta have my matching sets of Mickey and Minnie. I knew I couldn't just get the Minnie without also getting a Mickey. These were the pins I got from Castle Babe Co. So I have that Happy Holidays pin. And then the B grades that I got were in front of the castle and then the two ice cream cones. And again, with these, I'd hardly know that they were flawed. Okay, so then the last thing, it is not a Disney small shop. It's quite a Disney large shop, but it was also from Black Friday sale deals. And I got some pins from Box Lunch. Box Lunch has been cranking out pins like crazy and they quite frequently have pretty good sales and they had some definitely good sale for Black Friday. So I got four different pins. The first two I got for my friend Sarah again. So this one is a Moana necklace. Sarah really likes Moana. She was Te Fiti for Halloween this year. And this is a really cool pin because it actually opens up like a locket. And you can see the heart of Te Fiti inside. Really nice textured pin. And then the second pin I got for Sarah was this Alice in Wonderland. She's kind of like falling pin. It's a little bit of a movable element there because Sarah is also a big Alice fan. And then the last two pins I got for myself. So the first was this Coco Remember Me 2 pin set. Really like the designs and simplicity of these. So the top pin is the guitar of, well, I guess it's Ernesto de la Cruz, but really it's Hector's guitar. And then the bottom is just a scroll that says, remember me. And then the very last pin I got, which was, I remember being very cheap, but this is actually one of my like favorite quality wise box lunch pins is this Pizza Planet rocket ship pin. Well, I like the quality so much because like it's a hard enamel instead of soft enamel like most box lunch pins. It's also really shiny. The metal is super glossy too. So I couldn't pass this one up. And then finally are the box lunch pins that I got. The Moana necklace, the Alice slider, little Pizza Planet rocket, and Coco Remember Me pin set. So those were all of my Disney small shop plus box lunch pins. And like I said, I got everything on super good deals. So definitely keep your eye out on small shops during the holiday season because, because just about all of the big small shops that I follow were running really awesome holiday deals. And I find that that's a great way to get presents or even things for yourself when you're on a budget. And especially when it comes to B grade or flawed or second pins. And I'll leave links to all of the shops that I mentioned in the description below. Also, this is in no way related to anything that I'm talking about, but I just got my December Mickey Memories plush in the mail the other day, and he was too cute and shiny not to share. So I only got two plushes. I got this one, and then I got, I think it was the May 1950s plush, because those were the only two that I really liked. And I couldn't pass it up because it's so super shiny and it's all hollow. And it was very stressful trying to get these. I know my experience was probably like many others. I had set my alarm. For me, my time was about 1 a.m. in the morning. Went to the listing right when they went up and then Shop Disney, the website and app was just freaking out. It wouldn't let me add things to my bag. It wouldn't let me sign into my car. It didn't want me to complete the purchase, but things eventually worked out and Mickey is here and he's pretty awesome. So I'll be back soon with more videos for Pinsmiths. 
and thanks for watching.